Shalom. So I want to show you guys biblical proof that the whore of Babylon and the bride of Jesus Christ, not the church, but his one and only bride, his wife, they are the same exact person. So the bride of Christ is the whore of Babylon. So Revelation 17 through 19 spoke about the judgments of this great whore. I was being judged by Jesus Christ, by my God. He judged me because I was going to escape the judgment that was coming to the nations. I was coming to judge the world. So he had to first judge me. It says how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow. Who are widows? Widows are people who lose their spouse after their spouse has died jesus was my spouse he died and was resurrected and went to heaven so it's speaking about a widow here it says for strong is the lord god who judges her here in Isaiah 54, the chapter that was to me, the wife of Jesus Christ, it says, for thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. Right before that, it says, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. So that chapter in Revelation 18 spoke about a widow. And here it says thy widowhood. Back to Revelation 18, it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. And here in Jeremiah 30, when it spoke about Zion, who is the wife of Jesus Christ, it says, Why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. So it says here that because of my sins, I was judged. And it says the same thing in Revelation 18 about the harlot. It says, and all the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. And here in Ezekiel 16, another chapter that was to me, the wife of Jesus Christ, in Ezekiel 16 and 1, you will see that it says to Jerusalem. So it says here that behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure and all them that thou hast loved with all them that thou hast hated. I will either gather them round about against thee. So basically it said the same exact thing that it said in Revelation 18. And it says this woman from Revelation 17, 18 and 19 was sitting upon a beast and this beast had 10 horns. And verse 18 says the woman which thou saw is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So it says this woman is a ruler. And here in Revelation 12, when it spoke about the queen, it spoke about that beast that had 10 horns. And at the end of the judgments of the great whore, it says now the lamb's wife has made herself ready.